Hello and welcome everyone to the first episode of Redstone Classroom and today we're going to be showing you guys the basics. And first thing we want to start off with is that um, <clears throat> this is a series I will be continuing on um, from here on and I'm going to be showing you guys cool tips and creations on Redstone and uh, also tutorials and whatnot like this one. <clears throat> so be looking out for that so let's get started all right the first thing is that we're gonna get everything from this chest that I've uh, prepared um, all right so with every single red piece of redstone that you place down it is a uh, it is shown like this and if we're at that state and it were right next to a block like this and we were to place a lever like that right next to it it would um, it would make it look like a straight line like that and send it to a block. Now, one thing you need to know with the redstone is if um, if redstone is like this, it will not power the block. You'll see there that it's not working. So if we were to break break that, it would actually activate that because it looks like um, yeah, if it looks like it's going into the block, then it will be powering the block. But if it doesn't look like that, like this. Um, it will not be powering the block, therefore um, you need to be careful with redstone circuits being like this when they're being like that. If you don't want it to be that way, uh, one way you could do is uh, use a repeater. And um, repeaters are basically, um, <clears throat> they're basically some sort of um, way to send current through blocks without um, what, what can we call it without interfering with the actual circuit you'll see here that um, even though this is being powered it's not sending a current to this but another thing with redstone is that if you power a block with um, a repeater or a normal redstone piece of redstone it will actually send the current through the block so if we put a repeater on this side um, it'll send the current straight through the block let's say this is the <clears throat> Sorry about that, I just woke up and... Alright, so if we were to send a piece of repeater right here and have it point towards the block, <clears throat> it would actually be powering the block. And therefore, if you think of it, this piece of block right here that's being powered by the redstone, um, it, let's say it's actually a toggle, let's say it's actually a block that can it's, let's, let's think of it as a block being turned on. Um, so right now the block is on. If we were not to send power to it, it would turn it off and therefore turn the torch, the torch on. <clears throat> the thing with the redstone torches is the block that they're on, if it's being powered, the torch is therefore deactivated. And that can come in handy whenever, you, it will come in handy whenever you're um, making something out of redstone. All right. Another thing is, if you uh, send current through the block, it will um, therefore turn on the block, which means that any piece of redstone, like uh, repeaters or just normal redstone, will be activated from the other side, from either side that isn't being powered um, from the origin. So let's say uh, somewhere uh, anywhere else, but being powered from here. So if there's redstone over here, redstone here, redstone here. Um, it will send current out. Alright, the next thing we have is a new addition to the redstone world. It's actually called Tripwire. This was added in, I think it was last, up, I think it was two updates ago. And it might have been uh, 12W23. I don't remember, but I'm actually playing on 12W24 right now. The, it just came out today, not not so long ago. And, uh, and the Tripwire is actually a really cool thing that you could use. Um, it acts like a pressure plate, but these are called... Um, these are called the actual tripwire receivers, tripwire receivers. And you, what you do is you get string and you right click on the middle block or wherever um, wherever the block is that's closest to these. And um, you have to link it up and then it will automatically look like it links, links up to these. And that means these, block are being, these blocks are being turned on or powered. So um, this acts like a normal redstone circuit if, we're, if it were like this. Uh, if we were to uh, send a repeater through there, um, it would work the exact same way as this would uh, 
this would do. So like that, if I were to walk over it, it would power these blocks, therefore turning those off, the redstone torches off, like how it works here. So it's basically the same concept, but it works just like a pressure plate, um, which I will be getting out right now. So pressure plates work the same exact way, um, but they're a little easier, <laughs> much easier to see, because uh, this is a thin line of wire. And the um, thing with pressure plates is that they can only be, they can only be powered from if they if you step on them. There's two different types of pressure plates. There's stone and there's wood. Stone is can only be powered by entities like zombies, uh, skeletons, and, um, and yourself and like uh, players. Um, things like the wooden pressure plate, it can be powered by anything, let's say, uh, like that. It can be powered by any entity that you can think of. Yeah, you could even shoot an arrow at it, which I will not be demonstrating right now. So, um, yeah, that's the thing with pressure plates. They work just like trip wires. And uh, trip wires are just in e more easily concealable. And you can actually place them up in the air. So if we were to place a block right here, um, if we were to put a trip wire down, uh, let's see what we can throw away from that. And you get your string. You could actually uh, link these two up. Um, the cool thing is that you could just right click on. Oh snap! You can right click on this, on the actual uh, trip wire, and it'll link it up to what direction you're facing. So say we're from this direction, it would actually link it up to that. Um, so you don't have to place a block under here and then put it down. So it actually screws up if you place it like that. So you don't want to do it that way. So there you go. That's trip wires. They work uh, just like uh, anything else being powered, like a block being powered, like I showed earlier, and whatnot. So, all right, next thing. All right, next thing we have is the powered mine or <laughs> powered mine cart. This is the powered. Um, I keep saying, I keep wanting to say mine cart. <laughs> it's a powered track, and can be powered by any source of redstone. So, um, if we were to use a repeater, it would work the exact same way. Um, another thing is if you go under that block, if we dig a little bit under, um, we can power the block beneath it and it'll work the exact same way. So if you wanted to, uh, let's see here, let's place a block here. If you wanted to um, power that block right there, if you um, want to enable that and disable that, you can put a lever right there connect and put the redstone connecting to this. Uh, we're going to put a repeater and it will disable it and if you turn click the switch again it will enable it so that's a cool little thing there you can do um, let's close that up um, the next thing we have is detector rails <clears throat> detector rails are pretty much pressure plates on a rail um, the only thing that can activate it is a, uh, a cart so if you get a cart from here um, the only thing that can activate it is so let's just show a little thing here turn it um, right here if we were to do this, we walk over. Oh, we can't walk over it. What am I thinking? If you put a pressure plate on it, um, if you put a cart on it, the actual thing is powered. It works just like a pressure plate, but it can only be powered by a mine cart. Um, this will be good for something like a door that opens up. Um, let's say you're coming in, and there's a door over there, and you want to power it before you got to the door and you would open the door and then you would go straight through um, it would work the, it would work like that so there's many uses for it so you just have to think of them you just have to think of them so next thing we got all right so the next thing we have here is the glowstone lamp or you just want to call it a lamp whatever you want um, it could also be powered by any means of redstone like uh, the powered mine cart over there mine track and track um, so it can be powered by a lever, uh, anything you can think of that can be powered by redstone. Um, something like this will work like that. Um, it can work from back here. Oh no, it can work from right there. Uh, yeah. So these are basically just some, a light source. You can power the block under it. You can power the block above it. It will work either way, side, oh, side. So yeah, you can power it in many ways. Uh, same thing with this one. Um, if I were to, I didn't think I had demonstrated this, uh, so I guess I'll demonstrate it now. 
Let's see if we can go to over here. Uh, get rid of that. Um, you could power this if we were to use a torch next to it. Um, torch above, right above it. Um, oh snap. Torch right above it. So yeah. Some cool stuff. So glowstone works just like that. And it's just basically a powerable light source.